Welcome to Order Lines, Ontario Building Code Quick Tips. This topic is regarding determining the occupant loads for part three buildings. It's presented by Steve Penna. Determining occupant loads, 3117-1. Determining the occupant load of a part three building is crit crucial to the overall health and safety of the occupants of the building. The occupant load of a building dictates such things as the safe exiting of the building, the maximum washroom facilities, and the requirements for early notification and evacuation by the use of a fire alarm system. The occupant load of a floor area or part of a floor area is based on A, the number of seats in an assembly occupancy having fixed seats, B, two persons per sleeping room or sleeping area in a dwelling unit or a suite, C, the number of persons for which the area is designed for, or they can be determined from table 31171 for occupancies other than those described above. Where a floor area has been designed for an occupant load other than that determined from table 31171, a permanent sign indicating that occupant load shall be posted in a conspicuous location within the room. If a room is intended for different occupancies at different times, the value to be used from table 3117.1 shall be the value that gives the greatest number of persons. So let's look at this. Well, let's have an example. Well, if you had a movie theater with 200 fixed seats, then obviously the occupant load of the theater would be 200 people, as noted in the, pre in the article. If you had a banquet room that had non-fixed seats and tables, that was 300 meters squared in area, you would have to determine the occupant load of the room as follows. You would first go to the table 31171 and you would look up assembly because a banquet room is, is an assembly occupancy. So you look up space with non-fixed seats and tables and you get a, a value of 0 0.95 area per person, meters squared per person. So you would calculate it as such. You take the occupant load which and the room area, which would be 300 meters squared, times it by 0.95 meters squared per person, which would give you a value of 285 persons for the room. So this banquet hall would be able to hold, in accordance with Table 31171-1, 285 persons. Now, the another example is where a designer chooses to determine the occupant load to a space that is not in accordance with Table 31171, as permitted in the article, as per the sentence 3117 bracket 2, a permanent sign is required to be placed within the room in a conspicuous location that indicates the maximum, the maximum occupant load of the room. If the occupant load of the room is exceeded at any time, then this would be a violation of the building code and the fire code. So you can see in this photograph, you can see an actual sign, and this was a sign taken in a, an actual restaurant. And it states here that the maximum load of, the, of this room, the occupancy of the room, cannot exceed 140 people. For more information on compliance with Part 3 of the OBC, please go to www.orderline.com. Thank you for watching.